Mickey Hawkins outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Um, unlucky today, I thought. I thought we, we put in a good performance. I think it's going to be ex better than expected, to be honest. I thought, like, first of all, it killed my heart, to be honest. Uh, that was the game of the week. Uh, as much as Arsenal will probably hate to admit that, this wasn't the game. And I was, well, what sort of side are we going to play? What sort of side are we going to play? I thought they were brilliant today. They had a really good go. Very worthy of a point today, at least. I think we were lucky to not get a result today. Yeah, the referee was a bit poor, wasn't he? Swallowed the flow of the game. You know, one swan song, you know, we might deem my last time in it for one night only. I suppose it was a little bit like that, really. I thought the uh, decision uh, against the keeper when he put uh, both for dive, it was biasly opinion. I thought it was a poor decision, mate, but uh, no, it's, it's all about it's all about the season as a whole. I think we've been brilliant this year and one more push, one more push. I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about today too much. I thought we got through today. Get that done first, D, and the Premier League can fuck right off. I was like that, to be honest, for uh, since the bill, to be honest, mate, Nicky. Uh, I feel uh, we should have, could have, would have, but one more big push. Uh, I left the ground on Thursday, like. They're dead to me then, they, they, Charlie Brown missing the football again, it was like that for me, it was proper, how can they do this again to me, like, and then you wake up, you sober up, and you go, you know what, West Ham, they always bring you back, and today was a good example of that, was, we had a good go first, I thought first half was pretty poor, and we got in one all, and I thought we were still a bit aside. Come on Thursday, and I think that's what it's all about. I mean, I was surprised they brought on Mickey Antonio, and I thought they brought on a few players that I would have brought. Yeah, I thought, we, I, I, listen, if it had been 2 0, I don't think he would have brought him on, but I think he was well within his rights to bring on some of them big players because there was a, still a point there to be got. Opportunity knocks, right? There's an opportunity to get a point and you keep the momentum. And now you can argue if we got a 93rd minute equaliser, that's momentum, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. you can argue that as well. But uh, I just feel like. Uh, it's all about the Europa League, you know, and I never thought I'd ever say that because I'm, when you watch other teams in Europa League, you like play your reserve sides. So going, yeah. I think this year has been incredible as a West Ham fan. I think it's rejuvenised the stadium, it's rejuvenised the crowd. Uh, fans who mocked the stadium in the past, and I was never one of those, generally was one of those stadiums where you go, oh, I don't know if there's going to be an atmosphere. And then Seville turned around, we watched that, and we went, hang on a minute. This is it, and this is it. And I, I was at Ipswich in 04. Seville was every good as bit as that. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for that season, for that, for that moment in the season. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get through it now. And I don't know, I don't know. It's going to be a tough game, but uh, I wish it was level. Just with him on the break on Thursday, you never know, you know. One go early, mate, it will be level. But I'll let you go. Thank you very much for coming to see us. I appreciate yeah. it. Cheers.